Okay. 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 How are we doing? What's up guys, Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. This is an annual video. A goals checkup, a goals check-in. My 2022 goals in numbers. Now, this is a video that I film every single year. I film this uh, in my car every single year. 2019, uh, 2020, 2021, and now 2022 goals in numbers. We're starting it off in Bobby today. I'm all about Christmas traditions. I'm all about traditions um, just in life. I'm quite a... What's the word? Um, what's ah? Oh, what's the word? When you do the same, when you when you like st no superstitious, superstitious. I'm quite a superstitious person. So if I do this video every single year in my car, um, I don't know. It's just like a tr traditional superstitious kind of good luck charm thing that I do. You know, it's going okay so far. So without further ado, we are going to get into it. I'm going to go for a drive and I'm going to talk through some of my favourite things, some of my 2022 goals. We are splitting this up uh, into sections. We've got life goals, we've got business goals, uh, gym goals, and we have um, 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 there's something else. Ah yes, of course, we have social media goals. <laughs> oh god, it's not COVID, don't worry, it's not. It's not, I promise. I've done multiple tests. <laughs> I promise. Let's get on the road. Oh, Radio 1 coming on. Love that. Uh, let's get on the road and uh, discuss a little bit more. <laughs> Got ya. 144 at Tesco. That's fucking outrageous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Hey, I heard you like a wild one, wild one. So, I, I love my car. I love Bobby so much, but for what I do with my camera, you just can't put it anywhere. Like, you just can't, you know, like the angle of that. But like I need it here, but... And this is too big to fit here. It's <sighs> first world problems. I oh, know. Shut up, Liam. Anyway, <sighs> goal number one or topic number one, I should say, um, is life. Life goals. Um, I always like to start off with this one in this video. And to put it simply, I want to be happy in 2022. That is my only life goal happiness that has been basically my goal for ever i was in a car crash and it kind of changed my perspective on life should we say i'll go into that another time but like yeah i i, I want to be happy i spent a lot of 2021 unhappy through things that were out of my control some things in my control but i spent a lot of 2021 bottom line unhappy and I'm not okay with that, you know, that's affected life, that's affected my, my business, my social life, my everything, you know, it's affected my life. So, goal number one, and the only life goal for 2021, is to be happy. As long as I've got a smile on my face, I do not care. As long as I'm doing what I love, I do not care. But we'll get into that in just a little bit. That's all I'm fussed about. That is all I'm fussed about. So, I've come to Tesco because I realised when I kind of watched last year's video to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to, to do and say, where's my mask? There we go. That had a meal deal. So I want a meal deal. A Lego. I think that has like... Uh, that's got cranberry sauce in it though, do you like that? McCoy's, base flavor, flavor, walkers. Okay, cool. Right, see you in a bit. Alright, bye. Oh. Make it a goal for 2022 for these to stop being a thing. Like, I understand it, but God. <laughs> I'm sweating in there, like, uh, gives me spots all on my chin and stuff, you know. Not ideal, but anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a turkey and trimming sandwich. Uh, I actually filmed this before Christmas last year. It is the 
well, it's about a week after. This is going to go live a week after um, when it did last year. I think it went live on the 22nd last year. It's the 29th. It's going up this year. So, no biggie. Still before 2022. My mouth is watering. I'm excited to get into it. So, cheers. Mmm. It's the first thing that I've actually eaten today. And it's 1 p.m. What's wrong with me? It's Christmas. So my next goal, professional goals. How can I summarize this quickly? Basically, I want to keep doing what I'm doing, but better. Bigger and better than ever before. I want to make videos bigger and better videos than ever before. I want to make more videos than ever before. I want to keep scaling my business in the same way that I am right now. To be honest with you, earning more money. <laughs> like I'm doing okay, don't get me wrong, but with like the hours I work, if you're working a 60, 70, sometimes freaking 80 hour week, you want paying for that, you know, and I'm earning okay money, but I'm not earning 80 hours a week consistently money, you know, I'm not working 80 hours a week consistently, but sometimes I, I do, you know, so anyway, um, yeah, I would like to, to keep scaling the business in the same way that I am, business is going great, really, really well, um, to the point where, you know, I, I am really, really happy with how it's going, and if you told me I would be in this position at this point last year, I'd have snapped your hand off, you know, so all is good. Just want to keep doing that and more, you know? The sandwich is unreal. Having said that, though... Wait one sec. Having said that, though, I do want to take more time off in 2022 and be okay with taking more time off in 2022 because this past, like, four days, it's been Christmas Day, Boxing Day, Bank Holiday, and Bank Holiday. Four days, right? And I've, I've still worked, I've put videos on YouTube, I've put videos on the accounts that I, I run, but like, I have felt, to be honest with you, I have felt so guilty, like so guilty for not doing that, and that's not right, you know, I deserve time off just like everyone else, right, but the thing is I'm self-employed, the more I work, the more I get paid, and the less I work, the less I get paid, it's as simple as that, but... I've had things to do that I haven't done this past few days, right? But it's been Christmas and bank holiday, and I never take bank holidays off, but I needed it, my body needed it, my brain needed it. With this whole concussion thing, you know, I'm still working the same amount, and that's just not helping recovery, the doctor said. <laughs> he was like, what do you do? I was like, well, I train and upload it to the internet, and then I stare at a screen and edit for hours a day. He was like, yeah, this is slowing down your recovery massively. And I was like, unreal. Okie dokie, this guy's like a concussion expert, like world-renowned concussion expert, and yeah, so I kind of had to listen to him, and, and I actually did take a few days off, but I just feel so bad about doing that, you know, like I work every day, I don't do days off, anyone that knows me, I, I just work, it doesn't matter what time of day it is, I work and I go to bed when the job is done, I wake up the next day at 9 o'clock in, in the morning and start the next one, you know, and then I do the same thing, it's a vicious cycle. Uh, and I just, I I don't stop, right? I just don't, I don't stop. Um, which is good, because it, good work ethic and all that kind of stuff, oh yeah. But it's bad, because I don't let myself switch off, and I want to be a lot more okay with switching off in 2022, because I need it. It's as simple as that, physically, mentally, you need time off. You just do. You need to relax. And I don't. So here's to 2022, the year of rest. Cheers. Oh, oh my god. What the hell? And the year of consistency. Ladies and gentlemen. That's right, OGs of the channel will know what I'm talking about. Consistency. 2022. It's coming. It is coming. Mm. Lovely stuff. I just realised at the end of that clip I boosted my ISO to 32,000. So it was blurry as. You need 32,000 when you're in pitch black. Basically, you want ISO to be as low as physically possible. So if you're still with me after that blurry clip, which I am not filming again, <laughs> I appreciate you. Let's go home. We'll talk gym goals and other stuff as well. Pulled over to finish my sandwich and listen to this song. We higher than a mother. We higher than a motherfucker.
So I felt it was appropriate to sit in the gym for the gym goal since I'm actually here. I wasn't here when I filmed it last year. Um, so I'm here, might as well sit in the home gym and talk about my gym goals for 2022. So, in a nutshell, I don't really have any. Um, I would like to, if you remember a couple of years ago, I hit 100 kg OHP for one rep. Uh, I would like to hit that for two. I'd like to be able to push that above my head for, for, for two reps easily. Uh, I did 90 for three, maybe a, two weeks ago, something like that, a week ago, I don't know, a while back. Um, so I don't actually think that's, that far away to be honest if i if i'm allowing myself a bit of a bit of a jump if i can i can do that easily 100 kilos for 100 kilos for um two reps definitely on the cards in the fairly near future um other than that i would like to um get in the best shape of my life right i have never been shredded ever um summer shredding last year was about the leanest i have ever been this time last year I was a lot leaner with my concussion and everything, not being able to train. Um, I'm not really happy with how I look right now. So I'm not saying from like January 1st, New Year's resolution, boom, boom, boom. 2022, I want to get in the best shape of my life. Beat any physique I've ever beaten or brought or achieved in my life so far. Um, and better it. As simple as that. I would like to get in the best shape of my life this year. That's it, I've said it. I'm not saying I'm gonna get competition shredded, not saying I'm gonna compete, I might, but I'm not saying I am going to. If you would like me to, then drop a like, drop a comment, let me know. Maybe. But the best shape of my life, 2022, is the year. Let's fucking do this. And last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have probably what a lot of you guys um, are here for is to hear my social media numbers goals, right? So, as of right now, we have 10.1K on Instagram. Normally what I would do is say I would like to double what I currently have. To get 20K by next year is probably not gonna happen, right? When your numbers start to creep up into the thousands to then double that every year, when I had a few hundred, it was like, yeah, I can have a thousand by next year and I can have 2,000. But now we're at like nearly 5,000 on, on, on YouTube. To get 10,000 by next year, it's probably yeah, it's probably not realistic, right? It's taken me six years to get that amount, you know? It's not gonna take me one to then double it, you know? So, things like that I did used to like to say, but I'm not gonna say this year because I really, really, really stand by the fact that numbers mean shit, right? They mean absolute jack shit. Let me tell you why. I started this Instagram series, which I, na I haven't actually continued, if you would like me to do that. Um, on why you need 10k, but you kind of don't, but you kind of do. Like I started that as a Reels series um, and I never fin finished it and I followed it through. I did one episode of it and kind of just forgot. So if you would like me to, to continue that, let me know again in the comments. If you've already commented, comment again. If you've seen someone else's comment, comment it as well so that I know. Like the other person's comment, comment. Just, just comment like, like crazy. YouTube have actually gotten rid of dislikes, right? So now likes are more important than ever. So if you haven't already and you're watching, please drop it a like. It, it really, really helps the channel reach more people. That is what we need to, to, to grow, to keep the momentum going, you know? It's as simple as that, but anyway, numbers. Right now on Instagram, we have 10.1K. I would say a realistic goal is maybe 13, 14K. Um, I would like 15, if I'm honest, so another 50% rather than doubling. Um, I would like 15K by the end of next year. That would be really nice. Um, it just helps, like, because numbers don't matter, right? They don't. I've been a MyProtein athlete, an athlete, not an affiliate, an athlete for about a year now. I had about 7,000 followers when that happened, right? Less than 10K, but as long as those people that are following you give a shit, and are invested in, in what it is that you, you do and what you say and the things that you do in your daily life, that is much more valuable to a company like My Protein than it is someone with 150K that's got a nice bum or like decent six pack, you know? Like I don't have either of those things. I mean, okay, Nick, you can tell I go to the gym, but I don't look like, well, some of the people that are athletes as well, you know, I don't look anything like those. I do also think that that provides me with a little bit of an, an angle to the normal people, to the majority of people that are watching this, right? You can see someone that you think's physique is insane, right? And they can try on a t-shirt and you think, fucking hell, they look good in that. But that's not what you're going to look like in the t-shirt. That's not what I'm going to look like in the t-shirt. So I feel like what, one thing that you guys actually get from me with all these try-on hauls and all that kind of stuff is a realistic approach, a realistic 
what's the word, idea, the re a realistic, yeah, idea of what the average person that goes to the gym, looks after themselves, but still has a KFC on the weekends, you know, and goes out for drinks and cocktails and stuff like that, you know? The average person, rather than this elite, like, God-given genetics, like, because that's not, that's not me. And unfortunately, that's more than likely not you. So I feel like it does provide a, a relatable kind of aspect to this channel, but it does make it difficult at times to grow and to double 10K following in a year. Because if I had the abs or if I had the bootay, you know, that would be a lot easier, um, but I don't. You guys are just here for my fantastic personality, you know? Anyway, 10K on Instagram. I'll go into that. I'll do an entire separate video if you guys want me to, why numbers don't matter. Um, they do, but they don't, like, they do because it gives you a certain amount of, of leeway in, in negotiations with companies, but it doesn't matter because if you have 5,000 that really give a shit, that's better than 50 that don't, you know? So I'll, I'll go into that another time, but anyway. I would like to, maybe this year, I mean, we're not that far behind 5,000 on, on, on YouTube. What are we on specifically? 4.79K, so hopefully 5K, uh, in the next like month or two, that would be quite nice. Um, and then I would like to ideally get at least another couple of thousand. So we'll round that up to seven and a half. But again, that's like 50% on top. So unless something goes low key viral, that, that ain't happening, but it's also okay. You know, we're doing okay with the numbers that, that we have. So I don't want to focus on the numbers too much. Um, but one thing I do really want to push um, is TikTok. Social media goals for me is TikTok. Um, it is huge. It is absolutely massive. The reach you can get on TikTok like that is nuts. It's insane. I've never known anything like it. I've been around social media for like a decade now. I've been doing it myself for seven, like six, seven years. But actually watching and analyzing other people's kind of behavior, if you like, on social media for like a decade. And I've never known anything like TikTok. It is mental. It is absolutely nuts. And I would just be stupid to sit back and not do anything about that potential reach, you know? It is something that I've been massively pushing uh, towards the end of 2021, and it is definitely something that I want to pursue in 2022. You can also make decent money on TikTok. I'm talking about money a lot, I know, but this is my job, it's how I pay my bills. I'm sitting in my flat, right, not right now, but like if I'm sat in my flat editing this video, I'm paying my bills by making videos like this, you know? So it is important to a certain extent. It's not everything I know, I realize that, but it is how I survive. Uh, exclusively every single penny I make is off, off off social media so you know it is important to a certain extent um, but that is it ladies and gentlemen social media goals business goals life goals gym goals um, that's it really I feel like I, I did that this is the most relaxed type video I've done for a while and I want to do a few more like this purely because it gives you guys a chance to get to know me a little bit better get to know my mindset a bit a little bit more about just how I go about my daily life my philosophies and all that kind of stuff, you know? So, um, I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know your goals, your biggest one goal in the comment section down below. If you could pick one thing to achieve in 2022, what would it be? Let me know in the comment section, I'd love to know. Thank you all so much, so, so much for your support throughout 2021, it has been insane. It has been like the best and worst at times um, year of my life. It's been a roller coaster year and you guys have stuck through me through me, stuck through me, stuck through it with me um, throughout the entirety of it. So, 2022, let's smash it. Together we will grow. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you all in the next one. Woo, let's get shredded.